What's going on, everybody? Doc, Average Gamer Guys, back yet again into some more Escape from Tarkov action. And a quick and short video today covering some of the new customs expansion, specifically how to power up the new Extract ZB013. So we're going to jump into it. We're going to show you exactly where and how you throw the power in order to get it up and going, and then exactly where the Extract is and what you need to ensure that you can be successful as well as a couple of tips and why I actually like this as probably one of my new potential go-to extracts for customs with this newest update. So sit back, relax, enjoy. Hopefully you guys find this guide helpful. If you do, please hit that like, comment, subscribe. You guys know how YouTube works. So we really do appreciate it. If you're stopping in, thank you so much. And be on the lookout on the channel for some additional guides and some other stuff related to 12.7 and escape from tarkov as well in addition to that we have a twitch channel average ggs links in the description below give us a follow over there join our discord and be sure to follow over there on that for whenever we go live and come stop in to a stream sometime in the the near future we would appreciate seeing you over there chat with us if you have any questions about escape from tarkov or anything else more than happy to answer any questions. So without further ado, let's jump into the guide. So jumping into it, this comes right off of the spawn in between old gas and the warehouse and honestly is the perfect spawn in order to trigger new ZB13 extract. So what you're looking for here is part of the new expansion. They did a lot with these warehouses. To give you a little frame of reference, again, old gas is behind us there, tra uh, the uh, train cars, wow and the railroad i tried to combine those words and uh what you're looking at is this new inside of this warehouse that we couldn't typically get before now as a total a side note there is a ton of stuff to explore in this warehouse if you haven't taken the time the underground has a lot to look at there's like third stories on both of these sections that you can run up but what you're looking for here is as you move towards the front which is towards the factory gate exit where you need the key in order to unlock the two doors what you're looking for is to stick to this right hand side basically come into this little i'll call it little shack to give a little bit more frame of reference if you come out that's where the warehouse was but here, as you come in, stick to the right-hand side. You're going to come into this little room. You're going to see this white panel here with the switch. Boom, you're going to hit it. And there we go. This is called Warehouse 4, by the way. There we go, Warehouse 4. You're going to flip the power on. And now ZB13 Extract is open to you. So you have really two options. I'll show you path number one to get there from this point, which is basically to go back, move through old gas, uh, and come into the new expansion. Uh, in addition to that here in just a second once we get through this and I want to show you exactly where the extract is We'll show you the other option to get through which is again go through the two factory doors or jump over the wall uh, Move over the railroad and then you can come into it from uh, Basically what was what used to be uh, Construction that's now been expanded you can come into it basically through the container and make your way that way I feel like this way that we're going right now is a little bit safer um, but uh, that's just because probably less interaction for players. So here's where you're going. You're going to this new large warehouse that they've added. If you're familiar with this or if you've played around at all uh, with the new customs expansion, you know that Rashala can basically spawn on the first floor of this uh, near the far end uh, that uh, we're entering. So you have two options to get down to the new extract. Again, ZB13. You can come into the underground piece uh, right here. You just drop down, hunk, hug the wall kind of to the left, and you're going to end up coming to the gate right here, which you're going to need to unlock. In addition to that, you can also take this set of stairs, which is still pretty close to the end. Uh, it's on the main floor, first floor. You can obviously go up uh, to the top side there. Uh, you saw me kind of peek down that hallway there. Uh, past that truck is actually where Rashala can now spawn uh, in addition to his normal spawn locations on customs. But you'll come down uh, again that set of stairs and bam, it's right here. Good to go. You're going to need your factory exit key, which is important. This gives this key a lot of utility now. Not only unlocking those two doors, unlocking obviously the exit and factory, you now can use it to unlock this gate as well, uh, which is really, really awesome. So make sure you get your hands on that key if you don't have it. And boom, right here, ZB13, there's your exfil. Pretty simple, pretty easy, also pretty quick to get to. Uh, if you end up coming from the opposite side of the map as well, you just gotta make a quick jog. Uh, again, right around old gas, watch out for those scavs, and you'll be in a good spot. So just keep that in mind. If you need 
uh, an ability to extract and exfil. So jumping back into it, I just want to give you kind of the other route that you can take. Now, again, this is coming out the front side. Uh, again, fa factory exit here with both your doors popped open. You're going to be able to move through. You're going to be able to come around. You'll go up and over this railroad here. And uh, and then again, move into what, what I like to call old construction, but move into the construction through the blue container or along any of the holes in the wall, and you'll be able to progress that way. Uh, again, this is a good option. I think if you're over there, uh, it just behooves you to be able to flip this exit and, uh, and just open it up for yourself, depending on what your goal for the map is as well. Maybe you're gonna hit dorms. This is also pretty accessible from dorms. It's a pretty straight shot uh, that you can hit this coming down that road. So um, I feel like this is just a really, really good exit to be able to take. But basically you're gonna move through that gap uh, in the hole right there. Again, you can come in totally from the front side of this building, uh, but uh, really what you're looking for, as we showed before, come through to the back side, drop down, and you'll be able to extract and exfil. And, uh, and again, hopefully you guys enjoy this. And uh, I think this is going to get a lot of use uh, as a new extract once people really learn it. I think you're going to see power to it flip pretty often. And uh, as a scav, if you're by this and you're looking a quick way to get out, I would definitely check this as well. So like we said, a pretty quick, pretty short guide. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully it was helpful to you. Hopefully you're enjoying the new 12.7 patch as well as the customs expansion, maybe getting yourself a little bit of shoreline action as well with the new boss. I figured this was a pretty quick and good guide for most people. Uh, I'm always a big fan of kind of knowing my extracts and the ways to get out uh, as well as just uh, having some options as well. And I think this gives a really good option for customs gives you a really good option in general uh, for getting out of this map and again like I said get in here pop that uh, pop that power come over if you get lucky run into Rashala boom you can knock him out basically loot that warehouse that that uh, I'll call it that third floor but the top floor of that building where the extract is has quite good loot as far as a couple of loot crates tech crates uh, the Rashala room that he kind of protects has a bunch of weapons crates in it. Uh, so it provides pretty good utility. You make a pretty short run out of that if he ends up being there as well, probably before most players will be able to push that and uh, loot quickly, pop that uh, extract open, and I think you will be rolling uh, with the dough if you're able to do that. So again, hopefully you found this useful and helpful. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Definitely subscribe and stay tuned to the channel. More. Escape from Tarkov action coming soon. And again, we stream pretty much every day of the week. So pop in 8.30-ish or so Eastern Standard Time and uh, come ask any Tarkov-related questions that you might have. New players are always welcome. So I'm a doc, average gamer, guys, as always. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.